Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey everyone, Tim here again from timscomputerfix.net. Hey, I'm going to do a screen replacement here on an HP Protect Smart 17. This one is uh, the model 17-E009WM. So we're going to start off by taking off these uh, plastic tabs that are on each bottom corner of the bezel. This will expose two screws. This is a pretty straightforward screen replacement. Kind of done like other laptops for the most part. But I figured I got this uh, laptop in the shop. Might as well share with you guys how this one's done. So we're going to remove those two screws that are on the bottom left and right corner of the bezel. Then we're going to come in and gently work our fingers into the top side of the, the bezel itself between the screen and the bezel. Working our way from the bottom of the bezel. Gently pry away between the screen and the bezel. You'll hear it unsnapping. Don't force anything as usual. We'll work our way around to the sides. Get the other side done here. And then the bottom piece, the bottom part of this bezel has a tape on it, so it's taped also. So what I do is I just take my spudger along with my hand, my fingers, and kind of separate that tape. And again, it's very important not to force anything. So we just gently apply pressure and work down along the bottom side here, separating the tape. So once we've separated the bottom here, the bezel's pretty much fully free and we'll be able to remove it. Last little bit here. And then as we see the bezel now just comes right off pretty easily. There we go. Yeah, then we're going to remove a, a screw on each top corner, right and left corner of the screen that holds the screen in place. Let's take those two screws out. And then we're going to kind of give us a little room here, but there are two side brackets, metal brackets, that you have to remove two screws on. One on the left, one on the right. We'll unscrew the right side first. And then there's two more screws here on the left side. So I just kind of lean the screen up a little bit. Not too much, just to give enough room to get my screwdriver in between the bezel or the top, the back lid. And the stabilizing arms there. So then we can gently just lay the screen down. And we'll just also gently remove this tape. You want to be real careful here. You don't want to force anything here either. Those ribbon cables here to these screens can be very gentle, can be uh, very delicate. So yeah, so after we remove the cable, then we can now just discard or move away our old screen. And we'll bring in the new one, and then we're going to do everything in reverse. We'll get our cable pushed back into place. Be sure it snaps in fully and it's flush. We'll kind of push the existing tape down. We're going to add some more tape, but, in, but before we do that, now is the time that you want to test to be sure that the new screen works properly and that the cable is plugged in properly. So that's what we're going to do here. We'll just kind of lay this back up temporarily and we'll give it some power to see if we can Make sure the screen is indeed okay. Make sure there's no dead pixels. Make sure it lights up and everything. Hit the power button. And here we can see the screen light up just fine. And we load windows just fine. Look for dead pixels. There's no dead pixels here, so we're going to press on. 
So what we want to do now is flip it right back over and I want to add a little bit of a support to the tape here that's already been compromised. So I use a blue painters tape. It's a really good tape to use. I've used it for many years and uh, doesn't leave any residue behind and it stays in place. And you don't have to worry about heat in this case. So. Okay, then once that's done, we just set the screen back up like so, and then we're going to reattach our, our two metal arms here on the left and right with the two screws. Get that going. Those are in there nice and snug. We'll put our two screws back into place on the top, left and right. Get those put back in. And once those uh, two screws are back in, we'll also be sure we got our cable down here routed correctly because we're fixing to put the bezel back on. We'll snap the bezel into place. Working our way around. Let's be sure it all snaps in nicely. Left side, then the right side. And just be sure that bottom is snapped into place okay also and then we'll proceed to put in the two screws at the bottom left and right of the bezel put those in here like so so once these two screws are in place I use a little bit of a uh, just some sticky glue here apply a little glue to the tabs and just put the tabs back on to dress up where the screws were left side and then the right side and uh, that's pretty much it we'll power it on one last time and um, oh no wait we got to flip this back over and uh, put the battery in before we do that so I'll flip it over put the battery in and then that'll be it and we'll power it up one last time to be sure it uh, it all looks good and we'll call the customer hey thanks for watching my video everyone I hope it helps somebody out Please rate and subscribe to my feed as usual. I would appreciate it. You can find me over at timscomputerfix.net. I've got some more videos on the way, so stay tuned. Thanks, everyone. Bye.